just to clarify, all the footage you're gonna see here today is completely ungraded. I tried so hard to color correct it and then realized I'm grading on an SDR monitor and this is an HDR video and I have never ever worked with an HDR project before. So I left everything as it is. I have no idea how this is looking on your screen. So if it looks terrible, it's not the iPhone's fault, it's my fault. So I just wanted to put this out and I am so sorry and really hope that I can learn how to work with HDR footage because it looks incredible. I just don't know what I'm doing. What's up everybody? This is my very first official iPhone 12 Pro vlog. I just got my new iPhone 12 in today and it comes out to the public in like two days. You know how much I love Apple products in all things iPhone. So everything you see here today is gonna be all shot. On the iPhone 12 Pro, we have a full day ahead of us. So I'm gonna take you through kind of what it's like in my life as a fitness influencer or whatever you wanna call it. Oh, and this is the front facing camera that I'm vlogging on right now. One other thing I've noticed and I just switched to the rear camera by by the way, so I can't see myself, but something I've noticed is that it shoots in Dolby Vision, which most people I don't think know what that is, but it looks so insane on the actual iPhone because it's shooting in this crazy dynamic range. But what you're seeing right now is actually not what I'm seeing on my iPhone because your screen probably isn't HDR and this video isn't in HDR. So it's gonna take a long time, I feel like, for people to even be able to see the quality that iPhone 12 is. So unless you're like viewing your own videos that you've shot on your own iPhone, you're not gonna get the magic. But I promise you that when you look at this video footage on your iPhone, when you shoot it, you're gonna be blown away. Gonna start today off with a meeting. This is our current setup. We just literally take our breakfast nook table and put it in the living room, which is basically the same thing. I mean, it's a two bedroom apartment, uh, but we have our like little Philips Hue lights back here and it always gives like my meetings a little ambiance and it makes me look a lot <laughs> cooler than I actually am. Okay, this is my first time trying to vlog, not seeing myself, but with the wide cameras. I feel like there's kind of a lot going on today. I'm a little bit stressed. We have our sweat session today. My foot's still not healed from my surgery like three weeks ago. And then I have to come up with choreography today for a new dance we're shooting, which is exciting, but you know how I get kind of overwhelmed and stressed a lot. <laughs> so I always get so nervous before meetings, like any kind of meeting, I always feel like an imposter. I saw a meme and it was like, when you have an imposter syndrome and you feel like every meeting you're in is like a table full of executives and then you are Big Bird. And I feel like Big Bird in every meeting. I'm like, why am I here? Everyone here is smarter than me and more important than me. Oh, here we go, okay. All right, next up on the agenda is our strength session. So we are going to get the house ready. That washer and dryer is so loud. This we call our multi-purpose room because it is our dining room, it is our podcast studio, it is our sweat session place. It's where we take all of our meetings. It is an ever-changing set. So not ideal for everyday living, but it really, really serves its purpose. I really, I planned on doing a whole like, get ready with me in the morning, here's me making coffee, but my iPhone didn't come until like noon and I had to have coffee. What? What? What are you looking at? You look so good, what? She's a star. Your mom is my biggest fan. <laughs> my mom is, my mom called me yesterday and I swear to God, we launched Active Booty yesterday and the entire time she was on the phone with me, she could not stop talking about how radiant Allison is. She's glowing, she's confident, she's fierce, she's here. And I said, mom, I was like, I look good. I, I just spent a lot of money on my face and you haven't said a word about me. So anyways. I want you to know that I have noticed now that I have wrinkles when my face is resting. You know what? I will say something to be totally honest. <laughs> now when I see people with wrinkles on their forehead, I get kind of jealous because uh -huh. I like the Did expression. <laughs> I remember when I was young and could afford not to have Botox. Things I can't afford it. <laughs> Is this your iPhone vlog? Yeah. Girl, they don't want this. What? That's not what they want. Y'all, look at this smart HDR. So I'm using the wide lens right now. This is the telephoto, and it's still picking up all the shadows in Cameron's face. It is kind of blowing out the back, but we'll forgive it. Well, um, this is my coffee and I put cold foam in it with some pumpkin spice. Right it looks so ugly. This is not cute at all. This is why I'm not a lifestyle vlogger, but you taught me how to do cold foam. Isn't it just like, <laughs> no, it's, I taught him. <laughs> but, like, isn't it just like not even all the way whipped heavy cream? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you but just. You put, things in it. Yeah. you put things in it for sure. It's whipped cream with some pumpkin Pisces spice. Pisces. 
<laughs> Pisces. All right, so uh, I am vlogging on the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the iPhone 12 Pro. The difference of Dolby Vision is insane to me and it makes me so sad that you'll never be able to see it because YouTube is an HDR. Actually, I have some studio lights. Let me turn around and show you what it looks like when I am a little backlit. I mean, and these are probably natural settings, so I'm not gonna do like professional studio tests. These are gonna be like your everyday, day-to-day, -day, real world results. And you can already see the freaking, the sky and the plants are so blown out on my iPhone 11 and it's all perfectly exposed on my iPhone 12. And Allison, I don't care if you're laughing at me. Oh, also this is front facing camera. Let me switch to the wide. So this is a comparison of 11 Pro Max and iPhone 12 wide camera. Sorry, iPhone 12 wide camera. You can see the details in Haley lounging on the couch. You can see the, I mean, just look at the high, everything's so perfectly exposed. I'm actually blown away because I really wasn't expecting this to be very different. And here's our Canon R5, which is what we're doing all of our live streaming with. So let's try to, yeah, do it so where you're completely backlit and just see if this phone can handle it. Come on, shadows. So we just got done with the strength session. You know, this vlog, I realized we are in the same room for the entire thing. This feels like one of those like single camera plays where <laughs> everything happens in one location. And that's been our entire lives for the past <laughs> year. So I don't know really how to make a vlog interesting. We have a two bedroom apartment. Like I don't have a house. I don't have interesting locations. I have multi-purpose room <laughs> and multi-purpose room two <laughs> and multi-purpose room three <laughs> and bar cart. I have not had a single bite of food today. Not a single bite of food. So today I'm gonna have just leftovers from the other night, but I am going to make it into kind of a pasta dish. And I got these miracle noodles because I saw Remy talk about them. And I guess they have like zero calories, which it's miracle noodles, it's spinach miracle noodle, gluten-free, soy-free, it's shirataki pasta. I mean, if it has zero calories, I'll try it. Or like five calories, I don't know. So I, mean, I have no idea how to make these, so let's figure it out. As I go to the stove, having no idea if it even requires that. What do you do with these? Is there not directions? Drain the water out of the package, rinse the noodles in cool water for 15 seconds. Okay. All right, so while we're waiting for the water to boil for the noodles, I'm too tired, so I need, <laughs> I need to eat something. I always snack while I'm cooking, and then I'm never hungry for my meal that I make. I, so I still eat it, but then I'm way too full, but I have no patience, and I, it, again, it's like, four o'clock right now. I haven't had a bite of food and we just did a whole strength session. So like, I'm famished. I, I think that I have earned the description of being famished at this current point. So I'm eating my cheese and my favorite chips, Siete, my favorite brand, they're tortillas. Talk about them all the time, but they're all grain free and they just make me feel good about eating food that I would traditionally think would be junk food. Something that I have been struggling with a lot, I feel like my ADD has gotten way worse recently. I've just been all over the place and I feel like over stimulated and under stimulated all at the same time. And it's been very frustrating and very hard to deal with. And I feel like I do well with routine. Every day is kind of structured similarly. So I know kind of what to expect. But then now I feel like I'm living the same day over and over and over again. And it's getting exhausting. And it's like, I feel as if if I have too much of a routine, then I go crazy. But if I don't have a routine, I go crazy. <laughs> so I'm in this awful in between where I just need to get a grip on it. Thankfully I have therapy today, so I'm gonna talk about it, but I don't know if anyone else has ADD who was also like trapped in their house, but it's, it's I'm like going through so many, I feel like conflicting opposite emotions at the same time. All right, here's the finished product. That was actually really easy to make. These are our miracle noodles. Oh, let me do a little taste test they for y'all. I have no idea if I did this right or if this is the correct flavor combination, but. All right, here we go. I dry it. <laughs> I dry it in my throat. Steam. They taste like, like air. <laughs> I don't know if I would like give this to like a friend. I wouldn't like make this for dinner and be like, hey, come over, like try my miracle noodles. But if I was like, hey, I have eaten so much, like I deserve to have negative calories today. <laughs> this is what I would eat. <laughs> I'm gonna finish it for sure. Maybe Remy makes these different. <laughs> 
so all my audio got messed up here, but basically we took Juice on a walk at night so I could show you some of the nighttime footage. This is Juice literally refusing to move because he only walks when Cameron is present. And so he realized that Cameron was left behind and would not budge until he saw his favorite dad. Going for our little family stroll, we drug out Allison along for this one. This is me talking about having therapy today and how great it was because I was literally on the edge of a mental breakdown and my therapist really pulled me down from the sky. So thank you, Dr. Joe, for helping me not crash and burn. So I really wanted to test out the photography of the iPhone, especially at night and in low light. So this is me asking Allison to take a photo of me next to a giant lamp. And actually, Loki, like that turned out good. Like that looks good. And there was no light outside. And then it basically just turned into Allison taking taking photos of me for the next like 15 minutes. So thank you so much, Allison, for putting up with me because we probably took, I swear, like 50 photos and there were like five that I could stand to look at. Not because of the iPhone, but just because of me. But I got to show off my new active booty um, mesh top, which is my favorite thing from our collection because I can wear it and it shows off my boobies. Okay, so that's enough of me and we are gonna go back to the house. Okay, so that's it for the vlog today. Oh, I did want to say, and Cameron and Allison are literally right here, so this is awkward, but a little heart to heart real quick. This has probably been one of the most anxious days I've had in a very, very long time. And I have felt really horrible, and then I had therapy. So Allison's leaving because she feels uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I had therapy today and I feel definitely better, but I think I just want to, again, keep it real with y'all and let you know that at this present moment, I am the most financially and like career-wise successful that I have ever been. And I feel like this was one of my worst days <laughs> and I've had a really bad time lately. So just a reminder that money, success, Botox doesn't bring you happiness and it doesn't take away any kind of mental illness or anything that's going on inside of your head. So just know that wherever you are in life, just make sure that you're not chasing accolades or material things because that isn't going to change whatever you're feeling inside. So highly recommend therapy to everybody. And that really is the takeaway of the vlog. I love therapy and hopefully I have taken a few things from what I learned today and I'm going to implement them and work to be better and help make positive change. So love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this iPhone 12 vlog. It's definitely not a like legit review. I have no idea what I've been doing. And most of the footage you saw today was in really bad lighting conditions. So judge the footage based on knowing that it had literally terrible light to work with. So hope you enjoyed this and I'll see y'all in the next one. Oh, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers on this channel and I'm so excited about it. So if you wouldn't mind taking time out of your day, just clicking that subscribe button. So um, we can reach that goal. See you later.